Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Rhonda. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful peacock fan stitch, which you can turn into a scarf like I'm wearing, or a cowl, or anything your heart desires. So without further ado, come and join me, and we're going to create this beautiful stitch together. Okay, so here you can have a better look at this beautiful peacock stitch pattern, sometimes called the peacock fan stitch, you can see why. They're just really large fans and they look great and they look cushiony, really nice. Now you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six fans. This stitch pattern is done in a multiple of 10. Starting out you do 10 plus one and then another one for the foundation chain. And I think what I'm going to do to demonstrate is I'm going to show you um, four, four fans. I think that would be fine for a long scarf. I made mine shorter and wider. Of course, you can make yours as narrow or as wide as you like. You could make it really wide and make yourself a cowl by connecting at the end. It's all up to you. Okay, so what will you need for this stitch pattern? Now, I, as you see, I've got some self-striping yarns out. I happen to use the Carnival yarn um, and I thought it looked great. I also have Mary Maxim Prism yarn, which is a good choice. I've got some landscape yarn. All of these yarns will really come out and bring out their true beauty with the changing colors with this stitch pattern. The other thing you will need is you will need a hook. Now, the hook you use depends on the yarn you're using. I am using a five and a half millimeter hook uh, for mine, but you could just look at the required hook size on the label of your yarn, or you could go bigger if you want it looser. I wouldn't recommend tighter because it may not have the same drape that you would want in a scarf, but definitely if you want a looser look to your stitch pattern, you could go with a larger hook. Uh, you'll also need a darning needle to weave in your ends, a scissors to cut, all standard stuff, and a stitch marker only if you want to leave your, your project for a while and you're going to um, want to hold that stitch in place so it doesn't unravel. And that's it. Now, putting this yarn aside, I am actually going to use a solid color yarn. This is just some Lion Brand Pound of Love yarn in the color Cherry. Just for ease of demonstration, I'm going to use a solid color. This pattern can be made with a solid color as well, but those self-striping yarns look great and also variegated yarns would also be suitable for this pattern. This is a two row repeat. It's easy, it's pleasurable to do, and it uses a treble crochet, which is a large stitch. So it works up really fast. And um, if you want a quick project, this is probably one that you'll want to consider. So let's get started. I'm gonna put everything aside, but my hook and my yarn. And we are starting with a chain and the chain is done in multiples of 10 plus one and then another one for the foundation chain. So first I'm going to do a slip knot and if you have not done this before, I'm just taking my yarn, putting my finger in, folding it up, turning, putting my thumb in, reaching for that tail, pulling it through and now I've got my slip knot. Put that on my hook, pull the tail to make it tight, and now I'm going to chain 40 plus 1 plus 1, so for 42. So to chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, and I've done 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and all the way up to 40, 7, 8, 9, Okay, so I've got my chain of 40 and I'm going to 
add another chain and then one for this foundation row right here. And what I'm going to do, you'll notice I have the bumps facing up. I like to start my starting row by entering into these bumps as opposed to the V's. There are the V's. Okay, so I'm going to go into the bumps and what I need to do here is I'm going to make one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So the one I have on my hook doesn't count. And here's the first chain and the second chain. I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and that is my first single crochet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip four chains. So one, two, three, four. And in this fifth chain, I am going to do a total of nine treble crochets. That's the largest stitch and it looks really nice. What you need to do is yarn over twice. Okay, so once and twice, insert your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. And now you should have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. And you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two. You've got two loops, yarn over, pull through two, and that's your first treble. You'll see it's a very large stitch. You're gonna do that eight more times in that same stitch. So it's a lot in that one stitch and you could see that beautiful fan that it creates, that peacock fan. Now what you're going to do is you're going to skip four chains, one, two, three, and four. And in that fifth, you're going to put a single crochet. And basically it's going to be the same all along from now until the end. You're going to skip four, one, two, three, four. And in the fifth, you're going to do your nine treble crochets again. Okay, so now you've got your two fans separated by that single crochet in the middle. And again, just repeat, skipping four, one, two, three, four in the fifth single crochet. And you're just going to repeat that all along until you get to the end. So you're going to skip four, do a nine treble crochet peacock fan, skip four single crochet. So you're just alternating. So just repeat that and I'll meet you towards the end. Okay, so towards oh. the end of the row, I have four of those fan clusters and you should have five stitches left. And so you're skipping your last four and making a single crochet in the final stitch. And so this is what your first row looks like. Okay, now you're going to turn your project and you're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then you are going to do a treble crochet into that same stitch that your chain is coming out of. So remember, yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and go ahead and proceed with that treble crochet. So now you have these two treble crochets that chain four acts as the first one. Now what you're going to do is chain three, one, two, three. You're going to skip four treble crochets and into the fifth, so the center of that peacock fan below, you're going to do a single crochet. Just like that. Then you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and go to the next single crochet and do two treble crochets in that stitch. So one and two. Oops. Okay, and another chain three. And into the middle of the next fan. So you're counting one, two, three, four, and in the middle, the fifth single crochet like that. And just repeat that all the way across very simply. In between each you're going to have a chain three. In the single crochet you're going to have two trebles like so. 
one treble and two. Chain three and a single crochet at the top of the fan below. Chain three, two trebles in that single crochet. Chain three, another single crochet at the top of the fan below, chain three, and what you're going to do in that last single crochet that you made, you're going to do two treble crochets to finish off the row. Just like that. So this is what your second row should start looking like. And you'll notice these fans are looking quite puffy. So there's definitely two different sides to this pattern because the other side is curved in. And then you've got this beautiful puffy peacock fan on the right side of your project. Now you're going to turn, you're gonna chain one, and you're going to do a single crochet in the space between your first two trebles. So you're not going into the stitch, you're going into the space between the two trebles to do a single crochet. Okay, now the next part's pretty much the same as the first row. You're going to make that fan stitch into the single crochet that you created in the fan below. So you're gonna skip the chain three and you're gonna do nine treble crochets into that single crochet stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then you're going to make a single crochet in between the next two trebles. So remember, not into the stitch, into that space, single crochet. And just repeat that all along, just like that. You're going to do a set of nine trebles in each of those single crochets and a single crochet in between the trebles. So watch as I go along again the nine trebles, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and nine. And again, single crochet in between the two trebles. And just repeat that until the end and you'll have something that looks like this. And I will meet you when you get to the end. Okay, so coming to the end of the row, you'll notice that I have another four of those peacock fans. And at the end of this row, I have the treble crochet and the turning chain. And again, I'm gonna have a single crochet in between those two. 
and then I'm going to turn my project. Then it's just a repeat of those last two rows. So in this row, you're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and a treble crochet, just like you did in the row below. You're going to chain three, and then in the center of your fan, you're skipping four trebles, and into the center, you're going to put your single crochet, chain three, and two trebles into the single crochet in between those two fans below. So one, two, chain three, single crochet into the center of the fan below, chain three, two treble crochets in that single crochet, and that's what you're going to do in this row. Chain three, single crochet, and that's how you get this beautiful pattern. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, if I used this type of yarn, I would probably use a larger hook next time. I'm finding it's looking a little bulky, but again, it might look like that until I've worked it up a little bit. So I am going to show you what it looks like worked up, but basically it's a two row repeat. So in one row, you're creating your fans separated by single crochets. And in the second row, you are doing your two trebles and the single crochet above the center of the fan below. Now, what I'm going to do to make it easier for you is I am going to have a link to each row of the two row repeat. So you could just click on that if you need a refresher, but that's basically it. Really a very simple pattern that works up quickly. I do suggest using perhaps a larger hook to bring out the pattern perhaps using more of a drapey type of yarn like this, or like this, the, the self-striping again looks really nice. But again, you could do a solid uh, as well. Uh, it might look nice with um, a finer yarn, a size three or a larger hook, but that's it. I hope you like that. I'll work it up a little bit more and show you how this pattern looks in this particular yarn so you can get a bigger picture. I hope you like that. Go ahead and don't be afraid to try it. It's really easy. It works up quick and you should enjoy it. Okay, so I've just worked up a little bit more of this yarn here and you can see that the one that I made does work up prettier. Now this is a three weight. I think if I were going to use a worsted weight yarn, a four, I would probably go up maybe even to an eight hook size and try that. So it's all experimentation, but you have the pattern now and you can experiment with different yarn you have in your stash that you think you would like, but you can see a very different look. And this isn't bad. You could make a nice warm scarf with that, uh, but you don't definitely don't see the definition as nicely as you do with this um, Hobie um, Carnival yarn. So to turn the peacock stitch pattern into a scarf, all you do is you do that two row repeat for as long as you want until your scarf is at the length that you like and fasten off and you've got yourself this beautiful scarf. So I think I would recommend a three weight yarn for this particular stitch pattern and definitely highly recommend a self striping or variegated to really bring out the beauty of this stitch. So go ahead, enjoy. I hope you make yourself a scarf or a cowl or whatever you like with a stitch pattern. Just go and enjoy and um, make some yarn magic. Have a great day. Bye for now.